The pace of innovation on the web has been astounding, but why does that have to stop at computers and mobile phones? Tesla brings the power, the flexibility, the reach of the web to physical devices. It's an open source programmable microcontroller that speaks JavaScript, the language of the web. Tesla's the first microcontroller built to be compatible with emerging web technologies. It's completely programmable in JavaScript and can be written in any code editor that you want. We have optimized for the simplest user experience possible. Just unbox the device, plug it in, write a few lines of code, and you're talking to the web. It's that easy. Pushing code to the Tesla is just like pushing code to a server. You can program it wirelessly using Wi-Fi or over USB. Just plug in your module and NPM install the library for it, written right on the device. All of Tesla's firmware and hardware is completely open source, so people like you can contribute to the community's hardware and code libraries. About 45 minutes ago or an hour ago, GitHub went down, and so um, our first response was to try and build something on Tesla that would ping the GitHub status page and would turn on a revolving light when GitHub went back up. It's incredibly easy for software developers to build things that, that interface with the physical world. Um, if you think about the average skill set that you need to take something from uh, uh, the hardware side of things and connect it to the internet, so you have a servo and you want to control it based on an API somewhere, that's a really immense skill set. And something like Tesla really compresses that. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of cool visualizations um, of data being collected from the real world. Um, and I think with the Tesla, you know, people can hook these up to physical devices and be generating data. And since it's written in JavaScript, there are a lot of great um, visualization libraries. I'm kind of dabbling and starting off doing some home brewing. And so um, in order to brew your own beer, you have to pretty tightly regulate the temperature. Tesla was a pretty good fit for this project because, uh, first off, because of the modules. Like, it was really easy to get the, the mo a module with relays on it, which are powerful enough to, tr to toggle the fridge on and off. The idea behind it is that it can control the temperature. Um, so using the temperature sensor module, basically, you can just read the temperature and it kicks the fridge on when it's below, you know, above a, set, a certain set point, which we can define. Uh, we actually have a, a smartphone app, so you can tell it you know, your Wi-Fi password and your network, and it'll, it'll connect to the network. Um, and then you're up and running and you can push code and updates to firmware and stuff completely wirelessly. And if you've built something and want to take it to the next level, we can help you start beta testing. We're going to start building a service that allows you to upload your code and a list of modules, and we'll deliver to you a finalized batch of tessellations with your firmware preloaded. We're making it possible to gather users' data, update your code, and improve the experience wirelessly. We're trying to power the minimum viable product of hardware. If you've ever programmed JavaScript before, this is a platform that is instantly recognizable. You have internet connections, you have an ecosystem of people developing really great open source libraries, developing really great technology that you can leverage. So join us in empowering web and mobile developers. By backing our campaign. The hardware revolution is just beginning. Come, be a part of it.